up your YouTube, search for Stupid Meadows, watch on your big screen. Or another device if you're at home. Get yourself comfy, this could take a while. What a happy scene. Something new every day for your long term memory. This is so exciting, it is nearly time for a stupidly assembly. Hello everybody and welcome to our Friday celebration assembly. For each other we, every day we, to improve we, together we will, Every single Stukely day we focus on. Our Stukely motto is. Our Stukely curriculum is. Our Stukely plan for home learning is. Four words that make the magic happen. Yes, they do. Okay, I know it feels a bit dark in here, I've turned the lights off to stop it pinging off here, reflecting off here. So, um, I hope you've had a good week. It's our last day of the week, so it's time for some celebrations. Um, yesterday, I started off with a bit of music, and I should have really, uh, we should really start off the celebration assembly with some music, right? So let's, oh, come on. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Jones. Oh, okay. Right, while I'm having a great time here, before we get stuck into the shout outs and the celebrations, I just want to tell you about learning logs. So this week, I've met nearly all of you in the music studio. We had a little bit of music, but then we celebrated learning logs. Foundation stage, you haven't got yours yet, but you will be getting them uh, next week. Now, I just want to remind you that these come into school every day, your learning logs. You keep them in your book bags or your backpacks and your bags, and you keep them in the little bag. You've got a little zippy bag, okay? They come in every day. Don't forget that when you're on the right page, when you're on the right pages, you read five times, and you tick when you read. You write a sentence every time you read. Just one sentence. Oh, I'm telling you what, I'm loving it in here. Um, then you've got your maths tasks, your numbox or your rock stars. And when you've done your numbox or your rock stars, you tick here. Won't take long, each one. This page is for school. You use this page in school. And actually, on Monday's assembly, oh, this music just, I love this. On Monday, you are going to fill in this box. We're going to do it every Monday together in assembly. Yes, we are. Come on. Okay. And then you've got some retrieval uh, lines there. Okay. Music, stop. Mr. Jones, stop. Whew, puffed out. Anyway, I just wanted to remind you about the learning logs because uh, I think they're a great plan and I think they help you to learn more at home and school. Right. Let's go straight into shout outs, everyone. Um, we do shout outs every Friday. If there's anything in school which is fantastic, I want to celebrate it on a Friday. If there's anything at home, if you do anything great in a swimming pool or on the football pitch, if you do anything great with your family at the weekend and you achieve something, you work hard for something, if you're being kind and helping out charity or doing something in the community, I want to know. Tell your families to email in and I want to get the shout outs in and celebrate how wonderful you are. Um, I've got an idea. Still thinking it through that actually I might put a box outside my room, outside the AR library, and I might get give you all a chance to give people a shout out. You know, why should it just be the teachers who give shout outs and your families and me? Why can't Lily in year five write down a shout out for her teacher who's really helped her with her maths? Why can't Oscar in year two write out a little shout out for his friend who was really supportive and helpful in the playground? You know, I'm thinking about a plan. Anyway, let's go. 
Shout out time. Right, these ones are coming from in school, first of all. Shout out from Mr. Watley to Lewis in year one. It says here a fantastic start to year one. He's showing good maths, great math skills and really good general knowledge. Well done, Lewis. We've got a shout out here from Mrs. Page to the whole of year two for starting on Times Tables Rock Stars. It's tricky when we first start, but the children have managed it really well, says Mrs. Page. Shout out from Mr. Smith to the whole of year three. Oh, come on, let's have some specifics, but I like your style, Mr. Smith. Mature and sensible attitude. I think not every single child in year three, but most of them all the time has a really great attitude. And all of them, some of the time, have a great attitude and that's important. Well done, Birch and Acacia, for your super gymnastics this week. I know Mrs. Franklin did a double session. It was great to see them back in the hall again. Year five, uh, Amy in Beach for storming ahead with 146,000 words already on AR. I mean, that's telling me that Amy's probably gonna get millionaire by what, half term? I mean, that's impossible, right? Um, how long will it take? Um, Chestnut, we've got a shout out here for Grace for fantastic use of vocabulary in English. Well done, Grace. I know Grace's vocabulary is brilliant and I hope she's reading regularly because that was mine and Grace's little thing. Uh, year six, and you've got a whole shout out. Uh, considered and careful graffiti art in designing a wall. I mean, that's a great time, yeah? Well done for the school shout outs. We're now moving on to, you guessed it, shout outs from home. My book's getting full already. Now, last week I gave a shout out to Phoebe in year four for her initial grade piano exam. Would you believe the actual certificate rocked in? I kid you not. So there we have the Associated Board of Music for Phoebe. And there's also a music certificate there for Lottie Daly and Sophia Connorsby. And they're both commended uh, Compose Yourself certificates. So well done to all of those girls for their musical performances. Really, really proud of you. Um, house captains, now year six are desperate. Year six are absolutely desperate for me to announce house captains. I found it incredibly difficult to choose. Incredibly difficult to choose. Miss Barry's given me all the information. One of the hardest things, and I'll be honest with you, Year Six, the hardest things is we've had lots of applications from, say, Rowling House, but hardly any from uh, Morpurgo. So we're trying to weigh it up. Uh, I'll be honest, I need a bit more time. We will have house captains this year, and they will all get their badges and they will get their roles and responsibilities but I need a little bit more time because I need to work out the numbers. So what's this space year six? Um, okay, uh, Elijah, Ezra and Boaz Lee. Three brothers in foundation year two and year four. They are cyclists, they love a bike ride and they have done loads over the summer. This is a shout out to them. Uh, here they are. And most importantly, uh, this is the route that they took around Rutland uh, water on one of their monster treks and they've done even more than that. So well done you three, your family is so proud, keep up the cycling. Okay, Kaya, in year four, she has done 11 junior park runs and she's just picked up her half, marath a half marathon band. Well done, Kaya. Shout out to Emma in year five. Emma is the only child in the whole school who knew what WB meant. I know you all know what it means now. I know that because I told you, but Emma was the only child out of 410 who knew what that meant. Week beginning. Well done, Emma. Great work, great knowledge. Leah in year four, you also helped out at the park run. Here you are scanning barcodes. Really important job. Top work, that came from Mrs. Boswell, Leah, that one. Dixie in year four and Bryony in year one. They are the swimming sisters. Uh, Bryony's just got, um, I think it's a five meter swim badge. I needed to check. Uh, so Bryony's just nailed her first swimming sessions. And uh, Dixie is swimming for the Piranhas Swim Club. And she is gonna get some trials soon to get to a higher group. She's training before and after school world and Dixie top work. Um, 
Uh, Luca in year one has nailed his bike riding. He is delighted to do this and you can see that on his face. Well done Luca, great work. And finally, shout out to the Hunts Rowdies under sevens greens. We know Alex, Finn, Ezra, Elijah and Isaac play for them and actually two of our stupidly dads are the managers. Anyway, they are storming along so far. They won their last game 9-0. Great work, well done lads. Keep me up to date, let me know if there's any shout outs and definitely let me know if I miss any to feel awful. Right, that's it. Now it's that moment you've all been waiting for. I know I've been waiting for it. It's time for the next episode of who, uh, I nearly said who will be triumphant. It's time for the second episode of how long will it take? Bit of a problem this week, bit of a glitch, but we get through it. Welcome to the second ever episode of How Long Will It Take? Last week, in our first ever showing, Mrs. Cooper popped the bubbles in a really quick time. And the year one team, thanks to Mrs. Stevens, took the maximum points for saying how long it took. Actually, did you notice in our song at the start, Mrs. Stevens did a little, how long? Did you notice that? Oh, if you didn't, here it is again. How long? Oh, yeah, I think you've all worked out. We've now got our own little dance. Last year, we had who will be who, who will be who. This year, we've got how long, how long, how long, how long, oh. I mean, I know it looks a little bit threatening, but how long? I think that's, anyway, next time we hear that song, don't forget to get in your, how long? Okay, this week, I asked Mr. Partridge, our sports teacher and the leader of PSS, I asked Mr. Partridge to run around our Stukely running track as fast as he could, and he did it. Do you think it would take Mr. Partridge to run all the way around the running track as fast as he could? How long would it take? In your classrooms, in your households, you can say it out loud or you can write it down. How long do you think he'll take? Okay, now it's time to go and ask all of our year groups. So we remember, we are somebody from Foundation Stage, Year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the SOS team. And they are the, the site team, the office team, and the support team. And, and the sports team as well, we'll chuck them in too. So, uh, let's find out what uh, everybody thought. Oh, hello Mrs. Gavigan representing the Foundation Stage team. Mrs. Gavigan, how long is it going to take Mr. Partridge to do a lap of our track? Um, about 30 seconds. 30 yeah. seconds, thank you, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Gavigan. Hello, Miss James, representing the Year One team. Miss James, if I ask Mr. Partridge to run around the track at full pelt, how long is it going to take? I think he could do it in 40 seconds. Hello, Mrs. Hunt, representing the Year 2 team. Mrs. Hunt, how long do you think it's going to take Mr. Partridge to do a lap of the track? I think it's going to take him one minute and ten seconds. Whoa. Hello, Mrs. Boswell, member of the Year 3 team. Mrs. Boswell, how long is it going to take Mr. Partridge to race around our track one lap? 28 seconds. Ooh. Hello, Mrs. Franklin. Hello representing the year four team. Mrs. Franklin, if I ask Mr. Partridge to run around our track as fast as he can, how long is it going to take? Um, 36 seconds. Oh, that's a very significant number that, Mrs. Franklin. I see what you've done there. Hello, Mrs. Bradbury. 
Hello there. I'm going to ask Mr Partridge to race around our track as fast as he can. How long do you think he's going to take? I think he's going to take one minute and two seconds. Ooh. Hello, Mrs Peak, representing the Year 6 team. Mrs Peak, how long do you think it would take Mr Partridge to do a quick lap of the track? 44 seconds. Oh, very precise. Hello, Mrs Wing, part of the SOS team. Mrs Wing, how long do you think it's going to take Mr Partridge to do a lap of the running track? 34 seconds. Oh, wow. We've got some interesting predictions there. We've got some interesting times. Uh, I think we now need to find out how long it took Mr. Parters, Mr. Partridge, to run around the track. Um, <laughs> and let me just tell you, when he did it, we had a bit of a problem. Look what happened the first time he tried to run around the track. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. 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 That's it. My little timer, my little stopwatch didn't work. Uh, Mr. Partridge was not happy. In fact, he said some very rude words under his breath. So then I asked him to do it again. And guess what? The timer stopped working again. I didn't tell Mr. Partridge this because I knew he'd be absolutely seething mad. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm now gonna play the video of Mr. Partridge running around the track. I'm also going to use this timer, which works, and I'm gonna time him while I watch the video. When you see this video now, you will see Mr. Partridge running and you will see me trying to work the timer and it all going wrong. Oh, it's great fun doing this show. Anyway, here he is, running around the track. I will. Oh, here he is, Mr. Partridge, ready to run around the track. Once, one full lap, how long will he take? On your marks, get set, go! I managed to time it and I can tell you now that Mr. Partridge ran around the track in 29.97 seconds. So basically he did it in 30 seconds. Wow, this is very interesting. Wonder what you said. I wonder how long you thought he would take. Anyway, these are the scores for our teams. Well, first of all, there's the top eight points for foundation stage of Mrs. Gavigan, because she said 30 seconds, and it was basically 30 seconds, so spot on. We've got seven points for year three, who said 28. We've got six points for the SOS team, Mrs. Wing. We've got five points for year four. We've got four points for year one. We've got, uh, oh, hang on, three points for year six two points for year five, and only one point for year two, because Mrs. Hunt basically doesn't think that Mr. Partridge is very fit, but that's okay. Healthy fit, come on, you know what I mean. Okay, that's it. Let's add those scores to these scores. Oh, it looks very interesting. We've only had two shows of how long will it take, and look to see how your year groups are doing already. What a show, what a moment. See you next time on How Long Will It Take? How long, how long, how long will it take? How long, how long, how long will it take? How long, how long, how long will it take? How long, how long, how long will it take? Do you think, how long will it take? Oh, I've never seen Mr. Partridge run.
apart from the time he had that tricky curry. But that was unbelievable speed for Mr. Partridge. Well done to those of you who scored points. I wonder how long next week will take. You know what I mean. Anyway, birthday. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. <laughs> oh, come on! Happy birthday today to Jake in year one. Having a great day, I hope, Jake. Friends here, family at the weekend, going to be great. Happy birthday tomorrow, Joshua in foundation stage and Charlotte in year four. Happy birthday on Sunday to Arnas in year three, Sophie in year four, Neil in year four, Finn in year four. Come on, it's the year four celebration this weekend. I hope you all have a wonderful time with your families and get to share with your friends and, and the joy. It's great being a year older, unless you're my age when you kind of hope you don't get older, but just love it. Love it, it's brilliant. Okay, finish there. Everyday knowledge for you. Oh, we are learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Everyday knowledge for you. We are learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Okay, everyday knowledge. You know this, we've been over it again and again, but I am gonna twist it around a bit to see how much you've got in your long-term memory. Measurement, time, how many seconds are there in one minute? 60, that's right. How many minutes are there in one hour? 60, that's right. How many hours are there in a day? 24, that's right. How many days are there in a week? That's right. Which day of the week comes after Monday? Tuesday, that's right. Which day of the week comes before Sunday? Saturday, that's right. Which day of the week comes two days after Wednesday? Friday, that's right. Okay, how many days in a month? Hang on. Which months have 30 days? 30 days has September, April, June, and November. They all have 30 days. One month has 28 days most of the time. February, that's right. Okay, how many days in a year? 365, sometimes 366. It's all very complicated, isn't it? Months of the year, let's go through them. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Which month comes before June? May, that's right. Which month comes after December? January, that's correct. Okay, how many years are there in a decade? 10, that's right. How many years are there in a century? 100, that's right. Okay, let's move on to measure. We're measuring length. How many millimeters in a centimeter? 10, that's right. How many centimeters are there in a meter? 100, that's right. How many meters in two kilometers? 2,000, that's right. How many kilometers are in one mile? 1.6, that's correct. That's it, see you next time.